up everyone it's your boy Jermaine back on another video so uh I'm just in Union Square San Francisco and I was riding my bike down the street and I saw a couple things I wanted to like stick in a video so across the street we got the Apple store it's kind of interesting someone um someone asked me to um well so actually someone hired me to go stand in front of the Apple store for like two hours to film just to see how busy it was in front of the Apple store because they wanted to notice how busy it was in front of the Apple store. So um, yeah, I did that and it, it didn't look too busy. Um, but a couple things I wanted to point out here was, I'm not gonna really, um, well, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but like a couple years ago, th this part of the street was um, looted pretty bad and it was um, a lot of different businesses here. But now I've noticed there's a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of for lease signs too out here so right here on the corner is the nike store it's probably not going anywhere anytime soon but i can't remember what was there i don't remember what was there but it's for lease don't remember what was here but that place is for lease i believe this was the um a music store here they sold like uh like music equipment here and then this place here johnson and murphy on the corner it's still there but this 275 posts down below that place is closed um, we'll continue to walk down yeah so like i was just uh, you know cycling through here and i was just looking right and left and i noticed that like wow yo there's a lot of places that are like closed down you know um off to the right we have the real real that's that one of those stocks that like i was like shorting and going back and forth with before the market completely crashed you know um here this was um i don't know what the, i can't remember what this was either this is like i said this is not a typical area union store i was shopping this store over here was some like i think this was a suit a suit store but after the pandemic happened you know i i think suit stores really took a big hit because you know with working from home who needs like suits like you did like in the 1970s or the 50s you know it's the 2020s, so people just don't wear suits unless you like, you know, work in finance or something like that. Most, most people don't work in finance. There's the Ferragami store. Like, it looks like it's still good in business. Um, then over here, I remember this watch store got looted pretty bad. I remember I was in front of here like filming and I saw people break the window and the window was super thick. And I thought to myself, I said, bro they're not gonna be able to break that shit like whatever i came back like two hours later they had like completely like broken into that place and, like looted the whole thing like broke all the cabinets and everything it was just it was crazy i was like wow what a surprise you, you guys were probably professionals i don't know what this place was but whatever it was it's for lease you can go open up your favorite coffee shop right there um looks like the berber store is still open I left the bike like right over here on the other side of the Dior store and I walked in front of this store and they're all like looking at me and stuff. I'm like, bruh, I'm not coming in there, dude. I don't need no $7,000 bracelet. Like, you know, this jacked up economy. I lost so much money in this fucking stock market. Like, you know, I'm just like, I'm, you know, I, I'm still happy because, you know, you, you got to make good decisions. But, um, yeah. The, over here, we also have this thing. Um, we also have this here. I wanted to point out. Let me just stop for a second. Uh, so this here, this 200 grand. <laughs> My bad, I was just going off on a little tangent there. This here used to be, uh, I think this used to be a coach store, if I'm not mistaken. And it looks like that is, um, you know, available for lease if you, you know, want to open up, uh, you know, your favorite uh, t-shirt shop. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just kind of want to do that one block um, and then just get ready to take off. But uh, yeah, you know, this is it. This is Union Square. You know, um, I, I, I'm usually never uh, downtown on the weekend, right? And since I'm usually not downtown on the weekend, I uh, don't really see the city like this. And from what I see, from what I hear, it's uh, this is a really slow weekend. And this is like the July the 4th weekend. But like I said, I, I, I don't know what it was like last July the 4th weekend, you know? And 
and usually the weather is like this july the fourth weekend i'm just gonna keep it real the weather is like in the 60s it's not the most ideal place to go for july the fourth you know it's foggy it's cold so like i i i just don't know if san francisco is like the, the place to be for july the fourth you know but this is it this is july the fourth here that's a cool looking building there the old school building beautiful yeah but anyway thought i'd make a quick video i just wanted to show that block because i was like cycling through and i thought it was hilarious yeah i was like dang this looks like really different like what what's wrong here and then the and then the part i figured out was there's a lot of places that have closed that's that's what's wrong y'all yeah. but anyway don't listen to me i'm just like a dumb youtuber that lives in san francisco anyway i'm out bye bye love all of you guys peace out yo yeah.